What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. So welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aquarius, and you enjoy my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. This could resonate if you have Aquarius in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Ben, Hamden, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general or card reading, so it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. If it does not force, um, if it does not fit, please do not force it. Just saying, just saying, saying. Okay, so um, I received a channeling, so I'm going to go ahead and deliver it, and then we'll get started. I hope everybody is doing well, my dears. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, if you think anyone else, uh, anyone else would like my channel, uh, please feel free to share my channel via word of mouth and social media. I'd very much appreciate it. Um, it helps support a single mama and one of her income streams. So thanks so much for the bottom of my heart chakra. Okay, so the channeling I received was um, a particular Aquarius is about to receive uh, important um, communication from the um, IRS I heard. Um, I heard um, um, regarding an illegal business, written communication. So you plug it in how it resonates. So a particular Aquarius is about to receive written communication from the IRS regarding an illegal business. So you plug it in however that resonates, Aquarius, if that resonates for you. Now for anybody that doesn't know, the Internal Revenue Service, the IRS is the Internal Revenue Service. So for whatever Aquarius that resonates with, it has to, um, I feel like it has to be an illegal business that was either currently still operating or was operating um, in 2021 in the United States. And because I'm presuming the written communication, um, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to, about to come to this Aquarius. The illegal business had to have been running in 2021 for a 2021 tax year. I'm just saying, just saying. Um, somehow this Aquarius is connected to that. So you plug it in how it resonates. And for anybody who doesn't know, the IRS is the Internal Revenue Service of the United States. And the IRS only sends you communication via um, stalemate, period. For anybody who doesn't know. Because there are a lot of scammers and cons and frauds and all that crap out there that try to call you and bully you into giving them immediate money and payments. Um, claiming they're the IRS. The IRS would really... I, and I don't work for the IRS, but I just know this. They would never do that. It's always written communication. So, and I heard written communication. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have to of Aquarius. That's at least for one Aquarius out in the universe. You plug it in, how it resonates. I hope everybody is doing fantastical. Just saying, just saying. Spirit messages you have for the collective. Okay, we have career. Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. Weeping willow, family sorrow. The hidden secrets can harm you can be the illegal business that I feel at least one of you guys is connected to um, Aquarius because I mean, you wouldn't be getting written communication from the IRS, which is a huge, huge, huge thing. If you wasn't connected to this illegal business in 2021, I'm feeling it's 2021. For some, it could be another tax year, um, but you wouldn't be getting written communication if you wasn't connected to it. If it's not for you, it could be another Aquarius you're connected to or somebody else you're connected to, possibly. Spirit, uh, what messages do you have for the Aquarius? A particular Aquarius is about to get offered a permanent position on another unit. Hospital. It's 
thought to make them very happy. They've experienced a lot of bullying on their current unit. It's about to make their manager very upset. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. So a particular, well, congrats to whatever Aquarius that's for. Um, you work in a hospital, I'll tell you that. Rabbit spirit, now's a lucky time. That could be the lucky time for the offering of the new position uh, on the unit in the hospital. Uh, antelope spirit, life is speeding up. Um, you work in a hospital for whatever Aquarius this resonates for. Whatever position you are and how that resonates, I'm not sure, but you work definitely in a unit in a hospital. Um, I heard you're about to get offered another position in another unit. It's going to piss off your manager. So, but I heard you're happy because um, you've experienced a lot of bullying um, and harassment. I'm feeling bullying, harassment, beratement in the current unit you're in. Um, and it's going to make you happy. Uh, so it sounds like whatever unit you're about to get offered this position in, uh, obviously, your man I don't think your manager is over this other unit. Um, I think they know they're going to lose a good employee and a good uh, worker. And um, But they shouldn't be pissed at, you, pissed at this situation. They should be happy for you. Um, but they're looking at it as they're losing a good wor a worker. But it's good for you because I heard there was a lot of bullying, harassment, and beratement, basically, towards you, it sounds like, in your current unit. So congrats to you, Aquarius. It sounds like you have already worked in this unit before. And they probably see the good work you do, the good um, good work you do, good efforts, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they, they obviously want you aboard. So congrats to whoever you are and how that applies to Aquarius. You feel you can be a masculine or femme Aquarius. You take it how it resonates. Congrats to you, sir or ma'am. Um, it sounds like you're getting out of a very toxic situation. Um, and congrats to you. A particular Aquarius that works in a hospital is about to really, really step up and speak out on bullying and harassment on a particular unit. Some in their hospital, some to a compliance uh, hotline. It's going to help way more than you think it's going to. Trust, trust it. It's going to help out a particular individual that was injured within the last week by another employee. Assault. Oh my lord. So you plug it in. How it resonates, Aquarius. Holy crap. So a lot of hospital uh hospital Aquarians in here. You work in a unit in a hospital, Aquarius, for whatever message this resonates with. The last one could resonate with you or not. But if this one resonates with you, you work on a unit in a hospital too, Aquarius. And I heard um you apparently uh you're about to speak out about harassment, bullying, and breakment on the unit in your hospital or a unit in your hospital, how that resonates. Um, I heard for some of you guys, actually to someone in your hospital, for some, you're gonna call in a, a compliance hotline. Um, it sounds like this compliance hotline is connected to your hospital or your corporate entity. If your hospital is a part of a corporate entity, which most hospitals are part of corporate ent entity. So, um, I feel you, one, you're going to call the uh, corporate entity compliance hotline, which those are usually private and confidential because, you know, fear of retaliation, retaliation and bullying and harassment and beratement. That's why they make those compliance hotlines confidential um, because people are scared to speak up. So one, you're going to use that. Um, I feel it's the corporate compliance hotline for your a hospital and corporate entity for one you're going to do it actually inside your hospital but i heard it's going to help a whole way 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 more than you thought it was going to because there has been some kind of assault of a co-worker i don't feel it's you i feel it's somebody else maybe it's somebody you know or you're connected to or you're about to find out about in your hospital within the last week uh, apparently they've been assaulted by another co-worker so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Aquarius. Uh, apparently, it's going to help that situation, you speaking out about this, because it really sounds like it's going to bring it to the forefront and the light that more people are going to speak out about it, and it's going to make it very public that these kind of things are really are going on, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And hopefully, they all, and obviously, hopefully, they pull the camera evidence of the person that was assaulted, either by a physical object or hands or body part of the other co-worker how that resonates okay. 
for some of those situations, it could be verbal assault, but um, or a combination of both. But I'm feeling it might be physical assault by an object or person, possibly. Spare messages you have to sign up, Aquarius. A new roof for one. Okay, I heard a new roof for one. So one of you guys is getting a new roof is what I'm presuming or you're about to or somebody you're connected to. A new roof. So maybe I'm feeling you're getting a new roof or somebody you're connected to is getting a new roof. But um, some kind of new roof energy that could be on a business, that could be on a um a home or a rental home or an airbnb or etc 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 you plug it in how it resonates number 49 to 37 or 6 could be very significant numbers in one's life 49 to 37 or 6 could be very significant numbers it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to possible lottery number possible day birth number possible green card number possible jersey number 49 to 37 or 6 um, I'm feeling for some of you Aquarians, you could be dealing heavily with earth signs because you have double earth sign energy in your animal spirit cards. Two earth sign energies, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. If you are, they have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and him, or Jupiter charts, if you are. Rabbit spirit, now's a lucky time. This could be that, I feel this is definitely for that one Aquarian um, that works in the hospital unit that's uh, basically been bullied, harassed, and braided in their, in their current unit. And they're about to get offered that new position in the new unit. It doesn't sound like they bully, braid, and harass in that unit. One Aquarius is currently renting. They're about to save up and buy a new home. New to them home. Okay, well, congrats whoever that's for. That's beautiful. One of you guys is renting currently, I heard. So you are a renter. Um, and I heard you're, um, you're saving up. Uh, or you're about to save up how that resonates and you're about to buy a new to you home. So I don't feel it's a new, new home, but it's a new to you home. And I understand that because I've had my home, I've, I'm a homeowner, first time home, homeowner. And I've had this home almost five years, July 1st, it'll be five years for this one. And, um, only home I've ever bought, but I was a first time home buyer when I bought it and I rented for a really long time before I bought this home. So I understand that is what I'm trying to say. So um now is a lucky time i think you're maybe hopefully your credit scores up and on par maybe you'll get a good interest rate um hopefully you've got a good savings or building up a good nest egg of savings to lucky time for your home um uh, if that resonates for you that's beautiful Grand opening of a new location soon. Okay, I heard grand opening of a new location soon. So if this resonates for you, there's some kind of grand opening of a new location. So now is a lucky time for the grand opening of the new location. For some, I feel you could be the uh, business owner of this new location or a co-owner of the new location or a uh, purveyor of services to the new location or just support team to the new location or you can be news personnel to the new location how that resonates but 
Um, now's a lucky time. I think this new location, um, grand opening of the new location, I think you might purvey the services of this new location, or you might be the owner or co-owner or maybe a friend of the person that um, is opening it. But some kind of new location, I didn't hear specifically what it was. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Life is speeding up. A high-speed chase is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. Law enforcement personnel. Holy crap. I heard a high-speed chase is about to become very significant in an Aquarius's life. High, um, law enforcement personnel. So if this resonates for you, this is like, phys like physical speeding up here. I should have brought my brace in here, and I didn't. Um... Physical high-speed chase. I think you might be law enforcement personnel about to be on a high-speed chase with somebody. Is exactly what I think, a physical high-speed chase. But I think in this aspect, you are the law enforcement personnel about to be on a high-speed chase, physical high-speed chase on the roadway with somebody. If this resonates, holy crap. An Aquarius masculine is about to find out their baby mama is pregnant again. An Aquarius masculine is about to find out their, ba uh, their baby mama is pregnant again. So if this resonates for you, Aquarius, you have a baby mama, you're a masculine energy. You're about to find out your um, baby mama is pregnant again. So life is speeding up. Um, I think speeding up gonna have another mouth to feed another child on the way you're not gonna realize it etc 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 and one Aquarius feminine is about to go back to school and one Aquarius fem is about to go to back to school well congrats to you Aquarius fem so now is a lucky time with life is speeding up as you going back to school congrats to whoever that's for career A particular Aquarius is really about to become an advocate for harassment and bullying. And they're going to reach out to another person for a job opportunity soon. They know this person would be an excellent addition. to the cause. Oh, well, that's a beautiful one. So if this resonates for you, I heard you're about to become an advocate for har harassment and bullying. Um, one is going to be a career change. I heard one is going to be a career change. So um, it sounds like soon you're about to become an advocate for harassment and bullying, but it sounds like it's going to be a career change. So it's not your current career field or career sector, but it sounds like you free willingly are going to change into this career sector soon for harassment and bullying, um, free willingly. Um, and I heard, uh, it sounds like after you acquire this position, uh, advocate energy for harassment and bullying, I heard you're gonna reach out to somebody because you know they would be an excellent addition. I think an excellent addition to the team or the calls or the what have you for this, uh, I'm assuming it's an advocacy agency that you will be um, hired in through, or maybe for some, you create your own business for an advocacy agency. 
however that resonates. But um, career change energy, if that resonates for you. That's really beautiful. And that can be the life is speeding up to the career change. I didn't hear what career you were previous, but it sounds like you're going into advocacy, whether you start your own business or you um, work for a company, uh, advocacy agency company. Hidden secrets can harm you. A particular Aquarius is about to really, really reveal everything they know, some on a Cancer, some on a Pisces. About to be questioned about these people, some in a workplace situation, some investigator energy. They know it's the smart thing to do, reveal it all. Oh my Lord, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, some of you guys are about to be questioned. Some I heard about a cancer, some about a Pisces, Piscean. Now, um, they could have Cancer or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Ortho, Moon, Heaven, or Jupiter charts if this particular message or messages apply for you, but only you know your story, not anybody else. But some of you guys, it's in a workplace situation. You're about to be questioned about this Cancer or Pisces, masculine or feminine, Cancer or Pisces. Some, it's in, I feel, not in a workspace situation. It's in your 3D world, personal community, community neighborhood, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, um, energy. Um I heard by investigators. So I think public investigator energy, private investigator energy, police investigator, feds, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, however that applies. But I heard you know what's going, it'd be smart to just to re reveal it all, reveal it all. So I don't think you're going to hold anything back. I don't think you're going to hide it anymore. It sounds like in the past you hit it. You most certainly hit it in the past, most certainly. But you know what's not smart now, and you are right. Okay, I heard you most certainly did hide it in the past. Most certainly did, but you know right now, a uh, now it's not smart to hide it, and you're right, it's not. So something has changed in the energetic space in some shape, form, or fashion, however that applies in your life, where you know now, you're highly intuitive, you know it's smart not to hide it anymore. Apparently you hid it in the past, and sounds like you hid it for good reason, or you thought it was good reason. But now you know it's not smart to do it. Nay, nay, not at all now. It sounds like so much has changed in energetic space. You know it's not smart to hide it. So for some, it's a Cancer energy. For some, it's a Piscean. They could have Cancer or Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, Midham, or Jupiter charts, if this resonates for you. And for some, it's a Libra. And for some, it's a Libra. So Cancer, Piscean, Libra, energy, masculine or femme, Cancer, um, Cancer, Pisces, or Libra. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Libra in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. You hit it, hit it, hit it in the past, but you're not anymore. So that's the hidden secrets can harm you. The um, You've been hiding, hiding, hiding it in the past, but buddy, you're not anymore. You're, you're about to release it. Let me go get my brace. It's still pretty sore. I took it off to see how I feel without it. I'm going to go get it. I'll be right back.
Well, I don't know where I think they had put it. Oh, well. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, revealing some everything you know, either on a Piscean, a Libra, or a Cancer energy. They could have Pisces, Libra, or Cancer, and they're summonizing Venus, North Omen, Hammer, Jupiter chart. Summons in workplace situation. Summons in a um, outside your workplace situation from some kind of investigator energy. Um, but not in your workplace investigator. Because there's work um, investigator workplace energies too. But this, it's, I feel police. I feel private investigator. I feel public investigator energy. I feel um, law enforcement um, it, for some, it could be child protective services. I mean, w there's a ton of investigative type energies, but one is specifically workplace, one is outside your workplace. You plug it in how it resonates. Family sorrows. There's about to be a death in a particular Aquarius's family soon. One, it is drug related. Intuitively, you knew it was coming soon. Hmm. I heard there's about to be a death in a particular Aquarius's um, family soon. One, it is drug related. You knew it was intuitively. You knew it was coming soon. So, family sorrow. I feel that's the death uh, in your family, drug related. Now, I didn't hear specifically what kind of drugs it was. I don't know if it's meth or heroin or coke or um whatever the street names are for that crazy crap um whatever it is or it could be prescription op prescription opioids um or what have you i'm not sure but some kind of death in um your family regarding drugs it's not you it's somebody in your family intuitively you knew it was coming soon so i think they're uh they're a drug user i think you know it and i think they know you know it and I think they haven't had any desire, drive, or motivation to quit, if that resonates. There's about to be a very significant incident with the couch soon. Regarding one of your family members. It's going to shock the hell out of you. Negative incident. Oh my god, you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard there's about to be a very significant incident regarding a couch, regarding one of your family members. Um, it's going to shock the hell out of you. So, some kind of negative incident regarding a couch and one of your family members aquarius if this resonates for you i don't know if they'll be moving a couch or horse playing on a couch or break their arm on a couch or break their leg on a couch or i don't know this a negative incident regarding a couch and one of your family members um we have the family sorrow card so i think it's going to bring sorrow it's going to be a negative incident i don't i feel it might be broken bone energy or um or something of that nature um, regarding this couch and your family member or family members, if this resonates. Expansion. Okay, I didn't hear anything, but I heard new location opening soon earlier. So I feel one of you guys has, uh, you are an owner of a business or a co-owner of a business and you're about to expand to a new location is what I'm feeling for one of you guys with the previous message. It's exactly what I feel. And that could be the life is speeding up too. And now is a lucky time. That's exactly what I feel with your, coupled with your career sector over there with a career card. Um, it's all in the cards and the messages in here. So I definitely think one of you guys opened up a new um, you already had a business or co-owned a business and you opened up a new location. You expanded. For some of you guys, it could be somebody you're connected to.
For one, you're about to expand your practice. Healthcare. Okay. And you're about to contact somebody. You really want them on your team. Okay. Uh, for one, you're about to expand your practice healthcare. Um, I heard, and you're about to contact somebody. You really want them on your team. So expansion, um, I feel you could be a, a doctor, a nurse practitioner, a physician assistant. Um, you're, I think, high up in the healthcare community, whoever you are and how this resonates for that particular message. Um, um, you're about to expand your practice out. Um, I feel in maybe a new location or just a location. Um, but you have somebody in mind that you want to work with. Um, now, whoever this person is and how they apply, it could be an office manager, it could be a nurse, it could be a business manager, it could be accountant, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, how that resonates. But you definitely are about to expand out if this resonates and you work in the healthcare field in some shape, form, or fashion, um, if that resonates. And one Aquarius keeps gaining weight and gaining weight, and they are getting very frustrated. Considering light band. Oh, Lord. And one Aquarius keeps gaining weight and gaining weight and gaining weight. They're very frustrated, and um, they're considering light band is what I heard. So in this instance, the expansion energy is the expanding of your waistline physically expanding of your waistline. If this resonates for you, Aquarius, heard you're um, considering light band. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. You might as know light, light band is basically a surgical procedure um, to help one lose weight, basically. Um, you know, like they have different ones like gastric sleeve, bypass, light, and light bands one too. So um, in this aspect, expansion is ex physical expanding of the waistline. Um, and you're, you are, you don't like that I think for some, it might make you feel depressed and upset and you want to do something about it. Um, in this aspect, it's surgical procedure. Um, I don't feel it's the natural diet and exercise route, but you know, I, I don't judge anybody on their choices. You plug it in, how it resonates. I obviously did not go that route. I went the natural weight loss route and it took me about 10 years to do it, but I did, I, I, I did, I did. I was happy I did it that way. Um, but that was, you know, everybody has their own choice to make. Gratitude. A particular Piscean and a particular Libra in your life, for some, are very, 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 very ungrateful. You know this, very ungrateful. And spoiled for some of particular Pisces. I mean, not Pisces, Aries, Aries. And there's confirmation from my fat boy, by the way. Intuitive kitty's right here. Fat boy's going off. So you plug in how it resonates. For some, it's a, we're picking up heavy Piscean and Libra energy. Some it's Pisces, some it's a Libra, some it's a Aries. Um, I heard they're very, very, very ungrateful. Um, I think ungrateful to you or ungrateful to someone you're connected to, or ungrateful to a situation, if that resonates for you. But um, they're very ungrateful, or you feel they're ungrateful. How that resonates. Um, several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with these people. Negative karma. And for one, Aquarius, you're about to get very good karma. You have been very grateful in the universe. Okay, her several shocking negative series of chain of events are about to occur for these people. So I'm assuming the Libra, the Pisces, and the Aries energy. I feel they can be masculine or femme. Libra, Pisces, or Aries. They can have Libra, Pisces, or Aries, and they're sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in energy with their charts. You have to plug these people in, how they resonate, if they do resonate for you. But I heard they've basically been very ungrateful. So gratitude reverse. They've been very ungrateful um, to person, people, place, situation. That could be to you, could be somebody you're connected to. But they've been very great ungrateful in the universe. But I heard um, they're about to get negative karma because of their ungratefulness. Uh, how this resonates and applies in their life. They're, um, could be, they could have Libra, Pisces, or Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Jupiter, charts, masculine, feminine energies. How that resonates 
for you, Aquarius. But I heard, um, so that's their energy, ungratefulness, and they're about to get negative karma. But for you, Aquarius, if this resonates for you, you have been grateful. You have showed gratitude into the universe. You've been very thankful. And I'm assuming very nice, uh, well, not necessarily nice to people. It could be nice to people, or it could just be putting good into the universe. For some, the gratefulness, maybe you've opened up a charity or you're about to open up a charity, or you just are nicer with your words and how you use your words to people. Um, or you say thank you when maybe you didn't in the past. You know, I mean, there's many forms of gratitude that one could bestow upon the universe in many different ways. So however you're doing it is or about to do it and however that applies to you, okay? But I heard you are showing it and you're about to um, get positive karma. Whatever positive karma that is for whoever, I feel for some it's in the form of expansion for your business or businesses or new business. For some it's positive um, aspects in your career field. You work in the medical field, specifically a hospital for some. For some, um, it's other ways, but um, it sounds like for some, your family members are about to start getting very negative karma. It sounds like you are about to get positive karma because you have done something in the universe to make it go that way, if that resonates for you. Um, it sounds like you have physically, manually turned the wheel in your favor using logic, reason, and intuition, and gratitude, putting gratitude into the universe to help it turn your way, basically, if that resonates for one. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Looking pretty good, Aquarius. I thought Leo's looked pretty good too, but y'all's, I think y'all's is better than Leo's this round. A particular Aquarius is about to help a fire sign feminine single mother get her children back soon and quickly. Many shocking series of chain of events. Much information is about to come to light regarding this situation. Much. About to help the wheel move fast. It has been a very hard situation for everyone involved. Time to move on. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates for you, you are involved in, somehow you're about to be um, integral in helping a herd of fire sign fem single mother get her kids back. Aries Leo Sagittarius, um, feminine energy. She got Aries Leo or Sag and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hebrew, Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Aquarius. Um, but she's a single mother, so she's doing it by herself it sounds like she's um she either has a public defender a public lawyer or a private lawyer but she definitely sounds like she's definitely lawyered up whether it's public defender energy or private lawyer um, energy and it sounds like she's in the middle of a custody battle i didn't hear specifically that in here but logic reasoning intuition is that she's in the middle of a custody battle but how that resonates um she um Somehow you're about to be integral in helping her get, get her kids back. So I don't know if you are a lawyer or a paralegal or in the lawyer sector or legal sector about to help her get her kids back, or you are going to provide positive information to somebody regarding this case to help her get her kids back. Um, however, that resonates. Um, but I heard it's been a long process, long, hard process for everybody. And basically, it sounds like she deserves her kids back, and you're about to help do it soon and quickly, if that resonates for um, whoever, um, however that resonates and applies in one's life, Aquarius. But it's, it's a Aries Leo Sagittarius mother, single mother. She could have Aries Leo or Sagittarius in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, and Hayward, Jupiter charts, if that resonates for you, Aquarius. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular funeral is becoming is about to become very, very significant to an Aquarius's life. For some, a former co-worker. For some, a family member. 
For some, it's someone you went to school with in the past. A particular funeral is about to become very, very significant to an Aquarius soon. For some of you guys, it's a former co-worker. For some, it's someone you used to go to school with in the past. So I feel that could be elementary, primary, um, uh, middle school, high school, college, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, trade school, what, what have you. Um, and for some, it's a family member. So for some, it's a family member. For some, it's someone you went to school with in the past. For some, it is um, a former coworker. Um, so that could be gratitude. Maybe you, if you, um, I heard a funeral is going to become significant. So I don't know if you're actually going to attend this funeral or you're going to send gratitude or condolences in the form of flowers um, or something of that nature to the funeral uh, and send your condolences with gratitude and respect for the deceased, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped. Namaste.